प्रीता विलियम्स को शुभकामनाएं दी गई तो ड्रैगन की सेफ लैंडिंग पर दुनिया की नजर यहां पर है एक मार्च को पीएम मोदी ने भी सुनी and that is when we will see the main parachutes deploy and that occurs about 6000 feet above the ocean's surface and we are expecting drogue deployment at 253 pm pacific so we should see it any second now and there you are getting a great view of crew 9 inside dragon freedom as it returns back to earth we are awaiting the drogue deploys this view coming from the wb57 high altitude plane and there you see it on your screen drogue deployment drogue descent rate normal you can hear the crowd here visual on two healthy drogue crowd here very excited as dragon freedom continues to make its way back to planet earth next step will stand by for the main deployment of the parachutes the mains are quite a bit larger you'll be able to notice the difference on your screen once they deploy and they continue to ensure that the dragon uh, spacecraft slows down even further as we mentioned freedom will be traveling 16 miles per hour when it splashes down off the coast of Tallahassee Florida here at 2:57 p.m. pacific time this afternoon and there we go we have visual on four healthy mains that view was from inside Freedom copy yeah. that view was from inside one of the buckets where the parachutes are located so we see a great view there of the reefing on those parachutes and as those parachutes those main parachutes begin to inflate fully four beautiful healthy names now awaiting visuals of splashdown thanks freedom so We'll start to hear Commander Nick Hague. Copy 1000. As we heard right there, Commander Nick Hague will be calling out the altitude of the Dragon capsule from here on out. Landing in water is simpler and provides more margin against unlikely parachute issues. You can see those uh, those parachutes continuing to slow the Dragon capsule down. And if you're just joining uh -huh. us, you're looking at 800 meters a live view of crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down off the coast of Tallahassee Florida splash down 2 minutes from now at 2:57 p.m. pacific we do have four healthy mains really doing the job there just breathtaking views of a calm glass like ocean off the coast of Tallahassee Florida crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down this is really such an incredible shot uh that Copy, was 600 that was a live view from our recovery vessel uh megan which is stationed a couple miles away from the splashdown site we can see the crew there using their uh their restraints as resting places for their arms they were just in space moments ago <laughs> so their arms were able to float freely 400 meters This is a gorgeous bluebird day here that we have for the splashdown of Crew 9. It's incredible to think that the Dragon capsule just minutes ago was going over 17,000 17,000 miles per hour and now gently coasting to a soft splashdown. 200 Copy 200 meters. Brace for splashdown. as you can see there on your screen continuing to monitor progress of the dragon spacecraft and we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the gulf of america um, off the coast of tallahassee florida and splashdown crew 9 back on earth
Good. Freedom. Splash down. Good main release. Copy. Splash down. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. It is, uh, it is an amazing thing. What a ride. I see a capsule full of grins ear to ear. And as you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation of splashdown. Dragon Freedom has returned home and NASA astronauts. System safety verifications are in progress. We'll report back when recovery personnel are en route. Okay. Uh, understand. And, uh, we're in section two, four decimal 800 uh, landing response. And uh, looking for your word. And if is necessary. In the distance, we can see the recovery vessel making its way. Copy, you're in section two for the environmental assessment in 4.800. That is not necessary today. Understand. Raising buzz. So we will continue to have communications between the core and Nick Haig, the commander of Crew Dragon Freedom, which just splashed down two minutes ago off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Dragon Freedom has returned home with NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Sonny Williams, Butch Wilmore, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. They're back on Earth after approximately 17 hours of a return journey from space. The SpaceX recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon's splashdown, and they will now make their way to the splashdown location. The teams have been ready and waiting about three nautical miles away, so it's going to take them about 30 minutes or so to make their way and to... SpaceX Freedom, pretty sure we're in Stable 1. Copy Stable 1. We see the same. It's going to take about 30 minutes for the recovery team to make their way over to Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander, who are still seated and secured inside that Dragon spacecraft there on your screen. Incredible views there of that thermal protection system, or TPS. Um, that Dragon capsule was pristine white color uh, before it departed the station and we can see how the re-entry phase um, you know the thermal protection system did its job now if you're wondering what that hole that like bucket area is that is uh, underneath the the side hatch that is where the main parachutes were stored 